folks, this is Ben Ray from iForm Builder. I uh, wanted to put together a demo to show you how folks are using um, iForm Builder in the agriculture and seed industry. So one of the very common workflows is uh, field inspections for all the different produce. So we're walking out to a field and we're going to do five or six trials for a few different plants. Um, so we're just going to open up this form here. And we're going to see we have the date, the name of the inspector on the top, and then we're actually going to choose farm fields here. So I'm going to choose farm B, farm A, and we'll see that the fields are going to change based on what we choose in the farm section. So if I go back and choose farm B again, we'll see we have different farm fields to choose from. I'm going to take a picture here out my backyard um, and use that photograph as the picture of the farm. And then we're going to go into many trials. So you may capture one trial in this day or you may capture a hundred trials. Um, so we are going to open up this trial and I'm actually using some different IoT in here. So I'm just going to show you this. Uh, this is a Spark device and it actually has uh, a humidity and a temperature sensor attached to it. On the, along those wires. So actually you can walk around the field and place this in specific areas. So I'm going to go down and, and place it here right by the tree. Um, I'm going to hit capture and it's actually going to pull in the temperature and humidity where I place that. So we'll see it's uh, humidity is pretty low here today. Um, then we're going to choose the type of the plant. Then we're actually going to take a photograph of this plant. So I'm going to take a picture of the spark sitting by the tree that I'm, I'm uh, doing a trial of and then I'm going to use that as a background image and I can annotate on top of that if I wish. This is using our annotation widget. Now I'm going to choose the firmness, the shape, quality, the height of this plant, some other details that you may want to connect or collect. If there is defects, we'll see. I'm going to choose a few defects here and enter some finalized comments for this. Um, so it's a good plant and I'll hit done. Now at which point I can go right back in and capture a second trial. So I'm going to open up the trials one here and I'm going to walk over to a different plant and set my spark down and capture the temperature humidity at this plant see if it's changed at all and it has not um, so we're going to just choose the type of the plant here again take a photograph of this and there's not really a, a plant here in my a little garden so <laughs> we'll uh, we'll just show that for now and then the firmness shape quality again and the height in inches and if there's any defects um, this one's pretty Pretty healthy we'll say there's no defects at which point I'm able to go down here and then sign off on this inspection so I'm going to sign off here and once I'm done signing I'm just going to click done and submit this record directly to the iPhone builder server so I'm on iPhoneBuilder.com here where the data has been sent and I can open up this produce field inspection form and I'm able to see all the records that have been submitted um, forever for this form, right? So we'll see, I'm just going to maybe submit one of these again just to kind of show you. So if I choose on this here, I'm able to then view the detail of this record. So I can actually see everything that's happened for this specific user on this specific day, right? So here's the field that they inspected, here is the, the carrot, and here is the lettuce that they have, have looked at. And I'm able to then PDF this report, see where it was on a map here. Um, I can send it out to whoever I, whoever I wish. Um, actually, what I'm going to do just to simulate capturing in our record just so I can show you um, when I hit edit what I actually have set up here is a, a Google spreadsheet as you just going to simulate a submission so we can see the data flowing directly into this Google sheet so I'm gonna hit save here at which point I can open up my Google sheet and I'm gonna see that some records are gonna be captured here so just into enter two more records and we'll see that I have a carrot and a lettuce and I actually have some conditional formatting on this one just so if it um, if it gets where it is uh, has, has a defect we're gonna highlight this red if it gets where there's no defect, we're going to highlight this green just to simulate that it's a good record here. Um, so you're able to do all sorts of filtering. You can filter by type of plant. So say maybe I only want to see uh, see only carrots. Um, now I can only see the two carrot ones, and there's been defects in these two. So we need to obviously work on this. I can also do like filtering by inspector, um, and a lot of folks actually want to just see an overview too. So you can see each individual record, the number of trials that each individual has completed, and just a, a quick overview of all of these. So there can be a lot more logic that can be applied to this, but essentially this is a, a very small overview of capturing your data using iPhone Builder and then pushing it to other systems for uh, the integration and the visualization side of things, um, just because there is a, a ton of functionality there. So this is how iPhone Builder is being used for agriculture groups, and uh, come join us.